Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Xenonauts. So, we just cleared a terror mission. Um, I mean, we did technically succeed at the mission. It's just that... God, that was brutal. Um, yeah, we're, we're quite short on soldiers, which is a recurring theme. Um, we're doing kind of okay at shooting down UFOs, for what that's worth, but I really need to mostly get our budget back on track. Well, at least our forecast change is up. That's good. Be able to afford to uh, replace some of the soldiers that we lost. Production of Foxtrot Interceptors is finished. This is good. So you guys are going straight to... Hmm? Why can't I send you two? Oh, you already have two Foxtrots. Ha, ah, that would be why. Alright, well, having three Foxtrots here is fine. Yeah, that'll work. Um... Yeah. Oh, Interceptor UFO. Interceptor appears to be the final incarnation of the alien air superiority fighter. Do not be fooled by its deceptively elegant appearance. This craft is far tougher than it seems, and every bit as deadly. The propulsion system extending from the rear of the saucer uses a type of pulse detonation technology to reach speeds of up to 3,800 kilometers per hour, and can use vectored thrust ports to change direction in the blink of an eye. A miniaturized version of the immensely powerful fusion reactor sits in the central compartment, while a hardened shell of alien plating encases the vessel and grants frightening durability, while still reducing the overall weight of the armor relative to earlier designs. A trio of deadly rapid-firing plasma cannons and an enlarged missile tube in each wing complete the design, producing an exceptional dogfighter, fast, tough, agile, and well-armed. It is both sobering and encouraging to remember that it is clearly designed as a spacecraft. While I dread to think how effective this craft must be in the cold interstellar vacuum, it suggests we may yet be able to build something to defeat it in the skies. Uh, one of our condors took one of those down the other day, so I think we're okay. Wraith class analysis, okay. These guys are the concern now. Um, Commander, please talk to your men. If a test subject manages to breach quarantine, the correct response is to subdue and restrain it until our specialists get to the scene. It is most emphatically not to grab whatever's at hand and reenact the more bloody scenes from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, even if the subject does manage to teleport into the mess hall during chow time. When your brutes had finished, there was enough left of the wraith for the tissue analysis. Like Harridan's, wraiths have a truncated class structure. This is probably to do with their elite status in the alien hierarchy. No wraith needs sully its hands with manual labor. While wraith battle armor is a uniform green, we have noticed a considerable amount of personalization, with no suit exactly the same. This is probably how wraiths distinguish themselves socially and indicate that wraiths have a surprising level of independence in the alien hierarchy. We have identified certain strata of rank within the wraith military, identifiable by the amount of armor it is permitted to wear. Uh, soldier. The Wraith Soldier class wears a segmented armored bodysuit with additional plating at the shoulder and typically carries a plasma rifle. While this would seem a little underpowered, their ability to teleport into flanking positions and behind vehicles makes the need to carry heavier weapons unnecessary. Uh, the Warrior class has considerably more variation in armaments, with heavy plasma and plasma cannons being quite common. Apart from additional plates on the legs, the primary difference is the thickness and quality of the subdermal armor implants, which considerably improve their resilience. Um, like other officers, the Wraith Officer class is the only class to wear a helmet which covers the most vulnerable part of their anatomy, the blue nodes. We don't really understand why more Wraiths don't wear helmets to protect their nodes. While the nodes do produce a lot of heat, cooling shouldn't be an issue for an empire who can apply superconductor to surface like paint. Um, examination of the Elite's armor suggests considerable aftermarket modifications, the most common being a treatment similar to the hardening process we observed in landing craft. We've also noted implants of an unknown type that improve the flexibility, agility, and overall resilience of the Elite's. Elites wear the most complete suits of armor, a green bodysuit similar in design to civilian elites, as well as a more enclosing set of armor plating. Alright, good to know. Those guys are terrifying. I'm still not really sure how to deal with them is the problem. Radar has been completed at Charlie. Is it worth... It might be worth bumping my radars up a little bit. Mm, how much does that cost? Building a new radar array. Radar array. Oh, I need quantum cryptology centers at both my base, don't I? Oh, and radars are expensive, too. All right, we're going to have to save up to get the quantum cryptology centers at our, at our two little external bases, because I need to know where the ships with the leaders in them are. 13 civilian, 4 Harridan. It's a cruiser for research. That might have a leader. All right, let's shoot that one down. Um, just send up... Just send all the Foxtrots. Why not? Uh, that's a small. We'll send a Condor out to deal with that. Yeah, because he's going to immediately turn to deal with it. And it's an interceptor, so we should be able to take it down without too much trouble. Go. Yeah. Alright, so the Condors can actually take those out without any trouble, which is good to know. Hello. Small. Okay, just send one of our Foxtrots to go deal with that. Um, 
Yeah, tail that. And I, I guess it doesn't matter if we tail it until overland, because we're just going to airstrike it anyways, right? Yeah, just shoot it down. Head back. Or do we not get any money if we shoot them down over water? Shoot. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Um, yeah, tail until overland. It looks like it's sort of heading that way. Think, oh, wow, there was an island right there. Yeah, shoot that down. Head back to base, and then... Just scared of that. Until overland. Uh, how are you guys actually doing on fuel? You're fine. There you go. Okay, shoot that down. Return to base. I don't actually know if there's a leader present in this one. I don't feel like they would send leaders on research missions, so I'm actually just gonna yeah, get rid of that. All right, there we go. That's gotten our funding up a little bit. Even if everything's getting strafed now. Okay, large heading west. Um. Probably doesn't matter that these are damaged, we can just send them out there, and I don't quite have enough money to start another quantum uh, array yet. Oh, alien battle rifle. Alien battle rifle is an alien weapon around 40 inches long and 5 kilograms in weight. It can project deadly bolts of plasma over a great distance with incredible accuracy, is capable of burst fire, and has excellent armor mitigation. Be very careful of enemies carrying this weapon. Not only do they have access to the most fearsome weapon in the extraterrestrial arsenal, they will also represent the elite of the alien forces. The battle rifle is the finest example of a plasma weapon we are likely to encounter. The engineering is extremely impressive. There is little to differentiate the workings of the battle rifle from other alien weapons beyond the quality of production. Virtually every component shows dozens of incremental improvements. For example, every electromagnet in the weapon has a hardened alloy core that has undergone complete electron rearrangement, allowing them to generate a charge twice as powerful as normal. It would probably take us years to replicate just one of these weapons. We would do well to clone this design, but we could also do better still. Although we have witnessed firsthand how devastating plasma technology can be, it still suffers from inherent limitations. Studying every example of alien weapons may just give us enough knowledge we need to develop a new category of weapon that surpasses them entirely. That would be great. Mag weaponry? Hell yeah. You don't have anything else to do, so go ahead and research the crap out of that. And let's uh, just bump the speed up here a little bit while we track UFO 119. Ah, they're flying out of the ocean. Mm, it's going to be a while until they... Yeah, just shoot it down. We'll just rely on our, our funding increase rather than uh, anything else. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of UFOs. Um, interceptor on air superiority. We'll send a condor to deal with that. The one condor that we still have hanging out here. Uh, UFO 121 is small, so we can send a single foxtrot. And the other one is massive. Wait, where is this? Oh, okay, well, um, you're getting two foxtrots, I guess, but I feel like we're going to need three for that. Large cruiser, ground attack. Uh, ground attack might have a leader on it, so that's a good thing to deal with. Send a team out. I, I don't think we have enough foxtrots at Charlie to, um, to deal with whatever that is. I suspect this might be about to go poorly for us. Well, bump the time up and see how badly it goes. Shoot down that interceptor, RTB, cover some items. It's flying away from me which is rude. It's flying away from me quite fast, actually. Shoot that down, head back. Just airstrike that for some extra money. I'll resolve 50% carrier. Okay, that's a concern. Um, I guess we'll just have to engage this. See if we can... We're coming in... It looks like we're coming... Yeah, we're coming in from behind it, so this is fine. Um, we'll just try and put all the missiles into the rear. Uh, oh, we're not getting rid of shots. Shoot. Okay, out. Out, 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 out. Get away. Get away from there. Crud. Okay, well, that's, um, that's a problem. That's a problem that we're gonna have to deal with in the future, isn't it? Hmm? UFO 120. Oh, shoot. Carrier research. 19 civilians and 4 reapers. Crud. And my fox shots are out chasing something else. Shoot. Okay. Um, yeah, just shoot that down and come back. I need I need you guys back here now so we can try and deal with this. On the upside, we can now try and build one of these out here. There we go. So we'll have a little bit more information on what's going on around there. Um, and I just need to wait for... Shoot. Alright, he flew off. Okay, that's very bad. 
Yeah, and I only have two Foxtrots here. I mean, you can send everything. Let's see what we can do. They are eyes uh, flying. We're not, we're not gonna get him. Go to last known location, I guess, is our best bet. But oh, there we go. Squadron one, please. Shoot, he's very fast. Ah, crud, double crud. Um, all right, we need to send. We need to send a team to deal with that. Send a team to deal with that right now. Okay, who do we have available? to throw at this carrier in a suicidal manner. Get all your gear on. Oh my god, you are just so bad at things. Ah, oh, jeez, you can't carry anything. Alright, you've got your gear. Uh, the rest of you are joining this merry band. There you go. Ditch that. Ditch the smoke. Oh, you have a bunch of spare weight. That's good. You can carry stun grenades. And another flashbang, I guess. Why not? Um, what else do we need? We need another assault. We need another rifleman. Are any of you good for assault? Good reflexes and TUs. Ah, uh, you are okay. You are slightly better. All right, congrats on your promotion to the assault ranks. Oh, you have no strength, though. Shoot. Okay. Well, I guess. Uh, his lights up here gets to be our assault guy. I right, I still don't have that other plasma shotgun because I forgot to get a new one. Right. Okay, ditch those. Um, ditch everything to lighten the load here. Oh my god. Okay, that's shoot. Really under equipped unit here. Um, I also right here. Fine, you guys all have your gear. I'm trying to make sure everybody actually has body armor this time. Because that was not a fun discovery. Scimitar. Oh, nobody's working on the scimitar. Oh my god. God damn it. I thought they would just like auto assign themselves when they were done building the Foxtrot, but I guess not. Shoot. Okay. Well, we don't we're not gonna have a tank for this. Unfortunate, but there's nothing we can do about it. So, what else do I need? I need one more rifleman, which I guess is going to be you. With no grenades. God, nobody, nobody is strong enough to carry any of the gear I need them to carry. Get all your gear on. Oh, you are. Well, that's good. We got one person who can carry some spare stuff. Make use of those rocket launchers, too. You are slightly injured, which is unfortunate, but you're just going to have to put up with it. So I've got my two assaults, I've got my two rifles, I need, I would like one more recon in here, which is you. Wow. Alright, just take a bunch of stun grenades to fill your kit out. That, I guess, is going to have to do. I don't really have the gear to equip the other guy with stuff, so he's just going to have to sit this one out. Let's make sure everybody is reasonably set up here. Alright, so that's the best we're gonna get. Hopefully we can get there before that thing takes off again. Um, yeah, alright. Send you guys out. This uh, might go poorly for a lot of reasons. Need to get more Foxtrots built. Okay, that's fine. Just go back to base and refuel. Ah, shoot, they took off. Ah, and they got a friend. I don't suppose you guys refueled yet. No, refueling three hours. Okay, strike one. Head back to base, please. Um, come on. Ah, they're all flying away from me. Why can't I? There we go. Okay, sending all of you out. Let's see if we can't catch this thing. UFO 24 detected, massive. Uh, ooh. Oh, shoot, you're over there where I can't do anything. I was really hoping there was someone above Alpha so that I could actually send three Foxtrots out to try and deal with them, but, uh, pause due to, oh, we're out of money to build scimitars. Oops. I forgot that that was... Alright, good. We got a bunch of money, though. This is good. This is ideal. We can finish our scimitar. We can... Oh, 
but we fly slower than him, so we're actually not going to get another chance to do this if I just let him fly away. So we're just going to shoot this down and hope that we get another shot at that somewhere better. Um, what else do I need to build? All right, so once you're done with the scimitar, I very much need more foxtrots. Thank you. If you could just throw another one of those in the works. Mm, I don't like the, the carriers floating around. Hang on, why am I... Why am I getting information on this one? It's flying past Charlie. It must be because I've... Yeah, I think because I've seen it before. It must have been the one that flew past Alpha and then came down here. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Well, nothing I can do about it right now. Hello, mag weaponry researched. Uh, as improving our plasma technology to the point where it surpassed that of the aliens would be virtually impossible, new ideas were needed. They arrived in the form of old ideas. Mag weapons are electromagnetic coil guns that combine the remarkable properties of alien material with our existing knowledge of ballistic weapons. The idea behind a Gauss gun slash coil gun has been around for over a century and consists of a series of electromagnets firing sequentially, accelerating a projectile along the barrel of a weapon to deadly speeds. The parallels with alien plasma weapons should be obvious, but while the plasma technology uses the electromagnetic acceleration as a means to an end, a coil gun uses it as a means in itself. The technology can be adapted from existing plasma weapon designs and has some significant advantages. E.g., an energy projectile does mostly thermal damage and can be partially absorbed slash reflected slash dissipated by a number of factors, atmospheric conditions included. A spot of rain will not offer much protection against a metal pallet traveling at five times the speed of sound. Mag weapon prototypes have been built in pistol, carbine, shotgun, rifle, and precision arrangements, each one small enough to be carried by an infantryman but still capable of delivering a pellet of alien alloy at hypersonic speeds. They're almost certainly the most powerful terrestrial infantry weapon that will ever exist. Pushing muzzle velocity any higher would raise air resistance highly enough to explosively ignite the air behind the projectile, likely killing the soldier firing the weapon. It seems we're now limited by the composition of our atmosphere rather than by our technology. Okay, that's good. I imagine also prohibitively expensive. Uh, yeah, start researching heavy mag weapons, and how much do these things cost to produce? Actually, not all that much money, but let's see how we're doing after we get the uh, the scimitar and foxtrot done. Yeah, that's fine. I still need to get some of that improved body armor too, but that stuff is all of the money, right? Yeah, it's actually not that expensive. Scimitar support tanks is finished. Fantastic. So I want to make sure to actually assign engineers to it this time. Yeah, we're not going to have enough money to build things after we get that fox shot done, but I need those fox shots really, really badly. Oh, wow, that was quick. Alright, so I do not need four fox shots here, right? I can relocate one of you to Bravo. And I think I might actually have enough money to build a another hangar here. I think they only cost 25. Yes, they do. Alright, give me another hangar there so I can get a third fox shot in that base when I get a chance. Oh, UFO 126 detected. Massive research. Um, yeah, we'll send our three Foxtrots out to deal with that. See what kind of damage we can do. UFO 127. Also large. Uh, you are repairing. I can do nothing about this UFO. That's fine. Let them sort themselves out. Mm. Alright, just return to base. I'm not going to waste fuel flying around while we have other targets hanging out. Uh, in fact, once they're... Alright, here goes nothing. Let's see if we can shoot those bad boys down. Um, actually, I can just take you guys and... Because you used barely any of your fuel, I can just reset you, right? It's a little bit overkill to send three fox shots against that, but, you know, while they're up there. Oh my god, there's more of them. Okay, well, I don't have anything to send against that, so... Oh, and I can't even catch up to the friggin' thing. Okay, send a condor up to that guy. Oh, he's going for my foxtrots. Shoot. Oh, he's going to catch them too. Crud. Alright, we're going to have to play this. Uh, we might be able to do this if we play it very carefully. Wait, what? How are we coming in from behind him when he attacked us? Interesting. Alright, so what I want to do is tell them not to... Alright, we want to fire the missiles sequentially to stop him from dodging them, so unpause that. Okay. Fire that. Um, fire. Yeah, sure. Fire that one, I guess. 
Oh. Okay. Well, uh, we did shoot that down, so that's good. We lost one of our fox shots, which is bad, because I need those. And now we don't have any ammo to shoot down the other thing, which is also bad. And this guy's just making a mockery of my attempt to catch him. I can't do anything about this. He's just gonna have to... Oh. 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 Okay. Uh. Hmm. Well, let's see what kind of damage we can do, because uh, at this point I can't afford the better ships. So we're just going to have to hope that maybe we can get lucky here. Just pump missiles into that thing and then bug out. Alright, everybody, get the hell out of there. Or, fly directly into his line of fire. Okay, that did nothing. Good. We're doing good. All of our fox rots are dead. Um, and there's just kind of a battleship hanging around. Oh, and those guys up there as well. What? What are you? UFO 128. That's that battleship again. I don't have anything up there to shoot them down. I can send Shrike 1 over to these guys. Maybe they can do something. And... Send... Two Fox Trots up to this guy. Just kind of get rid of him. Strike Cruiser? What on earth? Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna retry. This is probably a terrible idea, but anything else to do? Fire those missiles. Come on. Okay. Out. 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 Get out of there. Nothing. Okay. Need more fox shots to take that down. Well, such is life. Oh, right. The map ends over there. Um. I guess that's not a bad place to call for today, because I don't want to start this landing site if we actually get there before they take off again. Um, I think we're just going to have to hold that for now. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.